Sunday morning, coffee. Being made. Then planning, 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 planning. It's crappy, crappy weather. So it's planning, planning, planning. Sunday's a great day for planning, especially with crappy weather. So I think it's gonna take uh, the dog, Sky, out for a, um, a cheeky walk. And then, I don't know what the plan is. Chores, washing, all that sort of stuff. And planning, 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 planning. Nice lamb dinner for dinner. <laughs> nice lamb, so we'll do that later. Um, I do want to make some soup. For the week and that's pretty much it really planning getting stuff done some analytics and stuff and lots of really boring stuff so let's make this exciting <laughs> To planning for your business. Interestingly enough, today has been the worst day for planning. Now the point I've said before about me doing this vlog is to kind of take you on the journey of the good and bad things as they go along me um, with my sort of building the beers and growing the beers and that sort of thing. And today's probably a classic example. Started off all good intentions. Um, was going to go and do some outside work, get some nice kind of B-roll stuff to pad out the um, content. And then didn't, actually got a lot done, decided to actually tidy up my desk and kind of work area. That's good, happy I've done that, I've achieved something there. But sort of never got, <coughs> excuse me, never got around to actually recording anything. And now suddenly it's much, much later and here we are, yeah, with sort of no content. So I think the lesson here is, is, <laughs> Ironically, the planning um, that I was supposed to do today is um, has not been done. And they said the ironic thing is, is that this is now going to be a vlog about how important it is to plan when I didn't plan. And the result of that is, it's a bit, a bit of a mess. So it's a bit of a weird, kind of very, very meta um, vlog. But it's the truth. It's the reality of it. Just as a quick kind of thing, which I which I do generally is what I have not so much on the calendar, but on my notes, which you can't really you can't see that at all. But what I do basically is have the week down, the week sort of the dates and the times that I'm working in my day job because I do different um, times, and then Monday, Monday to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and just kind of that starts off as a blank blank slate and then when I come up with ideas that I want to include within the day I then just put that down and build that out so I've got basically one two I've got about two and a half weeks of planned so that's that that's kind of high level so that's it that's a good high level then the point of that that's something I've just got with me easy I could just oh come up with an idea let's do something about Facebook ads I can put that in and schedule that in but then obviously build it out <coughs> the sort of the, the detail and the content on that is what then I have to do beforehand. And something like today is then looking at the week ahead and then going, okay, on, on Monday, I'm gonna do that, so that's, and then literally break the down, then literally break the day down further into search, certain time slots. Now this obviously is relevant to um, the time I have available. Now tomorrow, my day job, I'm working six to 1.30, 6 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So. First thing in the morning, not likely I'm gonna get anything done because it's gonna be wake up, shower, etc., out the door. However, I'm done at essentially lunchtime. So then I have the whole afternoon and evening. So I shift the tasks to later in the day that I would normally do in the morning, which is basically, you know, start recording some stuff for the blog, start recording some stuff for the vlog, and kind of the other marketing tasks I have, I just shift everything forward. And this is the important thing, is when you are building a business around a full-time job, it's important to have those time, um, um, time it's important to have those time pockets and uh, make the most of them, but the key is to plan those time pockets. So not just go, right, I'm gonna take half an hour tomorrow to um, answer my Facebook messages. When, when specifically is that half an hour? I mean, down to the level. So basically, once I've got this plan, I then transfer that onto the calendar, which will have a time slot for 
say answering Facebook messages or doing some posts on Instagram or whatever and then that that is in there so tomorrow as I said I start at 6 till 1 30 so then after that I'll be home quarter to 2 2 p.m. at that point forward I can then go right for the, so 2 to 2 30 I can do that half an hour block 2 30 to 3 that half an hour on whatever it goes and then it's in the calendar and it's scheduled if you're wondering what that is I am um, unfortunately let's have a look here I unfortunately as you can see cut my thumb whilst um, cooking a tip never put a sharp knife in a washing up bowl which I never do so therefore I wasn't expecting it to be there and I went in like that and ouch um, I normally I put it in there tonight for some stupid reason I'm more annoyed with myself um, about doing that but anyway I digress so um, so yeah you've got the exact time pockets scheduled that way you could just look at the calendar and I'm a big sort of advocate for the one on your phone Android or iOS doesn't matter and you go right it's three o'clock what, what am I doing for this time pocket three to three fifteen um, answer Facebook messages three fifteen comes cut the next task or whatever you know you might have oh then go to the gym or you know make lunch or whatever so it's important then and literally live by that schedule because that way it gets that focus um, on your task but you're not worrying about okay when am I doing this it's down it's it's in here and that's then your kind of boss so you sort of said everything you're doing is controlled in here and you, it's pre-planned you pre-plan that on the Sunday like I didn't do on the Sunday you pre-plan that on the Sunday today like I didn't do um, but I've got enough um, this is here that I can kind of in the now couple of hours before bed I can now kind of do that so what I've done is in my calendar I have kind of um, earmarked sections so in the morning I meditate exercise breakfast start the vlog recording and then do some Facebook stuff so that's in there every day repeat and then I just move them around on times depending on what where I'm working kind of thing so that's the, so they're there so like I literally I've moved all that for next this week forward to after work then I haven't got to worry I'm not still I just literally get up shower go to work done at home and then the schedules there this takes a lot of hassle and this takes a lot of hassle and to be honest um, stress and now my kids are texting me this takes a lot of hassle and stress and kind of confusion away from the whole thing you've just you know it's planned you haven't got to worry about it literally when you when you hit that time it, and if it might pop up on your phone do this now you just do it because you've scheduled it in obviously things may come up that change it if you break down or there's a family emergency fine that's life but on a normal time normal day when you know you know you're doing that and then you might go to the gym after work so your, your spare time is from that time to that time block the time up with tasks don't just put work on business actually block it up so that half an hour on that that half an hour on that 45 minutes on that etc so you know exactly what you're doing and then you can even subdivide that down again into particularly which tasks so if it says a Facebook live you can be doing a Facebook live on five ways to improve your Facebook ads for example um, and you and you've got that the notes already there so when you go right it's seven o'clock Facebook live you've got your notes there boom off you go record your um, record do your Facebook live you've got your notes Notes, do it finished done next task and it may seem very robotic and very um, sort of not very spontaneous and not creative because you're working to a schedule but the creative part kind of, that's the sort of the final execution of it the creative part comes first in coming up with the ideas or coming up with a plan but generally having a plan for what you're doing the, and the creativity is a guideline and then obviously you can build into that but the, this final bit when it comes to business is executing you've done all the creativity and you've done all the the creation of stuff and now you're just kind of delivering it you're basically doing the task but the creativity was before that um, so hopefully that's kind of helped that's that sort of that's my plan I failed today because I got 
sidetracked and procrastinated and at least I've got the desk area tidy um, but it's um, yeah it's kind of I was kind of learning by learning by my own bad example if that makes sense so I said hopefully that's been of some help um, if it has great um, love you like it leave a comment smash that uh, subscribe button would really appreciate it and yeah hope you're having a, had a good weekend and see you tomorrow bye bye